saying murder sh what's going on here Are you going to look at shit. Facebook comments too? Yeah. Okay, guys, I don't know what's going on. People are going to be very disappointed. Yeah, it has the wrong title. This is not a murder shade. This, oh, there we go. Okay, so this is working on Facebook. Facebook. And it's not working on YouTube, but it just has the wrong title on YouTube. It should be fine. We're yeah. going with it. You would be so mad at me. I don't, I'm don't. i trying new stuff, guys. So. Why are you trying new stuff? Why don't you just do old stuff? Because then it can't go to Facebook. Hmm. But we can use my phone. That's what we used to do. Yeah. Can you guys hear us and everything? Um, I'll go into... Yeah. So, we're live. Are we still having the deal on our ebook? Someone asked. That was just yesterday. Right? Yeah. Just yesterday. I'm a little flustered here. Okay. But we are making two recipes today from uh, our new dessert ebook. Sugar-free sweets. Sugar-free sweets. Yeah, on YouTube it has the wrong title, unfortunately. No recipe showing. I'm not seeing the transmission. Are they still having... Yep, okay, it's a so different stream. People can't see us. They're on the wrong stream. Okay, we're going. We're, we're in this. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's working. So what's going on, everyone? Is this murder she ate? Asked Tanya. No, sorry, Tanya. Someone put the this wrong This is not tag. murder she ate. This is a recipe. Everyone who comes here later is just immediately going to leave. They're going to be like, this is not murder she ate. I will change the title. After? You can do that? I can do it right now, I think. Rasp. Someone is asking if we know about the PE diet. Someone donated two pounds. When is the next murder she ate? I guess you were probably very excited when you saw this and now you're very disappointed. So you're asking. Um, we do them Thursdays. So tomorrow is a Thursday. We didn't do it last week. We've been kind of deciding on the day, but tomorrow we will be doing it, right? Yeah. Right, sweetheart? Okay. So murder she ate tomorrow. Thank you for the donation. Matt gotta, is still I'm flustered. flustered. You gotta yeah, carry this for a little. Well, I can't see the comments, but okay. So we are making two recipes. I'm very excited, and Matt chose them, and did not look into the recipes. So we're not not doing any like real baking here. Yeah, I should have looked into them more. There's no oven included, which or involved, which is good, I guess, for a lot of people. Um, so the first recipe we're gonna do is a fat bomb. We're gonna pop those in the freezer so that hopefully by the end we can try them because the second one we're gonna be doing also needs to be refrigerated, but for like two plus hours. So we will show you what they look like on Instagram afterwards. Um, but yeah, that's the deal. Hope you guys are at least making something. You don't have to be making these desserts, but cooking and hanging is fun. Should I get started though? Pretty soon. Okay, I'm gonna get started. Okay. So we have, what else do you want me to, do you want me to just chat? No. Um, also, I was thinking, guys, starting in, what is it? It's May. What's after May? June. June. We're going to do a post-quarantine challenge. Shout out to my broski for the idea. Yeah. So just for everyone to get back on track, because so many people message and say that they fell off. Yeah. $2 donation from Purple Depths. Keto fam, what do you guys recommend at a stall? What do you recommend? I mean, well, you, Depends. you have to really assess the stall, right? How long has it been? Is it truly a stall? Has it only been a couple weeks? Um, Cause I wouldn't say that's even a stall. Maybe your body's just take it. It's like a natural stopping point. You've lost a lot of weight. Um, your body's not just gonna keep losing weight day after day, right? Mm -hmm. um, so first figure that out. Has it only been like a couple days? Cause then I wouldn't really be concerned. I would just stay consistent and keep doing what you're doing. Second, you can look at the foods you're eating. Um, have you, are you used to tracking and then you slipped off? You're not tracking as much. Are the, you know, the foods, the snacks creeping in? Uh, so assess your foods. What else? I think mostly just stick with it and realize that your body is not going to, it's not going to be a downward a linear. linear progression. It's going to be some ups and downs trending downward though. That's good. Yeah. 
Okay, I guess I'll get started now because this seems to be working, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. So we, I said... And I'm having gonna... a spin drift. Those are really good. Lemon. Check out our vlog yesterday if you want updates on like snacks we're having, what we're doing. Are you affected by Amazon's low percentage they are giving you as YouTubers? Yeah. yeah, actually, our business is suffering hardcore right now. I didn't think it would because I thought we were pretty immune to like downturns. But it's mostly the ads on our website. Yeah. It's, been, it's like 30% of what it typically is. We're scraping by here. I mean, I guess, yeah. Uh, okay, so we have a beautiful fat bomb mold here. Any fat bomb mold will work, but I thought square would be fun. You like square? I like square. Okay, we're gonna do square. So we, so the recipe is eight ounces of butter, um, a bar of chocolate, and we have a bunch here. I will talk about the variations. Um, one fourth cup of a nut butter and then raspberries, but you could probably do blueberries, blackberries, strawberries, whatever you want. So, um, instead of butter though, we're going to be doing ghee. So right now we're doing a keto whole 30 month. So we're not doing any dairy. So instead of butter, we're doing ghee. You could do duck fat. You could really do any fat you want. You could probably do coconut cream if you wanted. Uh, butter will also work great. So we are going to add eight ounces. Is that going to stop? No. It's going to beep the entire time? Yeah. We'll just hit the button so it doesn't beep. Well, then you have to restart the entire cycle. Oh, okay. Um, so we are going to put eight ounces of ghee in this, which is how many tablespoons? 16. Six tiny tablespoons. So what's 13 times 16? That's 13 times 16? That's how much we need? 160, eight ounces. Oh, I can do a calculator. Do you know how much it is? No, I'm asking you. And if you've never... 208. 208. And the perfect trick to clean out of a jar, because I just cleaned out a jar of ghee yesterday when finishing it with my coffee, is use a mini spatula. It gets every little piece. Or you can put like hot water in it. You know that trick? Yeah, and if you guys don't know, we do have a website, ketoconnect.net, and this is where... It's really, I mean, we've been working hard on this. You remember the first version of our website? Yeah. I actually want to show you guys the first version. It's horrendous. Let me just see if I can get it here. So I made the first logo for our website on Photoshop when I, I'm a lot better now. It was Photoshop, joint. but it's really, it was terrible way back in the day. Okay, so we're gonna need a new jar of ghee. Cause we're out of this one. So there's this website you can go to. It's uh, like the Wayback Machine, I think it's called. So our website, you can see here, 2016 is when it started. And this is also when we started YouTube, started everything. And you can look at actually what it looked like. It takes a little while to load. 4, 8, 12, 16. 20. Okay, we're making 20 fat bombs. That's a lot, right? So this is what it looked like originally, like way back. We did the Quest Bars. Those were actually really good, but we used IMO fiber. Yeah. So do not make that. We actually took down that recipe. It still does it? Yeah, because... really annoying. Then you're gonna, we're gonna have to restart the cycle. That's okay. That's a waste of water. So I'm just wasting water over here. So yeah, that's the original. It's hard to get gear. Oh, I'm sorry guys, I'm struggling. This is like the most boring so far. It's very hectic at our house these days. That's a lot of gear. It makes 20. These are expensive fat bombs. But if you use butter. Okay, we got our ghee and our dog. Sorry to anyone else's dogs who are barking. I'm sure that's happening. We just polished off two jars. We didn't use all the jars. They were both half happy. Okay, we have our ghee. And now we are going to do, of course, some salt. Julius, come here, come. I'm gonna, Julius, come here. Our chocolate bar options. So what we're gonna be doing is 100% cacao <laughs> chocolate. Come here. 
Because we are savage. And we're not doing... <laughs> that. Come here. Julie, you just want to kill your dog sometimes. And we are not doing any sweeteners. This is um, very hectic. You get flustered so easily. But these are three other great bars options that we like to have in our house. And they vary carb-wise. Um, we'll give a little with our chocolate. So we have this 95% cacao. Matt likes this a lot. I love this too. Um, then we have an 85 and we have an 88. So it's way better if you use the little bit lower percentage. Yeah. Um, or you, if you don't only have hundred percent bakers, you could add some stevia to it, or you could use a Lily's chocolate bar, which is already sweetened with stevia and erythritol. Um, and then, you know, if that's what you prefer. A lot of people like the stevia bars. This is the logo I designed in Photoshop. So I am going to add all of this chocolate to our ghee. Doing a whole bar. All right, so this is the current website. How nice is it? It was just redesigned recently, somewhat recently. But if you scroll down, you can get on the newsletter. We send a newsletter every week. And uh, these are all the ebooks here. So this is a new one. Sugar-free sweets. So what's going on with you guys? How is the quarantine? Are you guys getting out in the wild yet? Are you getting unleashed yet? We're kind of unleashed here, but honestly, we went, I think uh, two days after the quarantine was lifted here, the lockdown, we tried going to Home Depot and it was more quarantine than it was like mid quarantine. There was a line outside. We didn't go in. That's just. We didn't go in. Yeah. Can you make money with art or design? I mean, I can't, no. You saw his first logo, right? Yeah, you saw my first logo. I mean, I can maybe make money with food photography. That would be the only real creative means I had to make money. I forgot how hard it is to chop chocolate. What's going on, guys? What's going on in chat? Trader Joe's has an amazing keto-friendly chocolate bar with and without almonds. One ninety-nine. So cheap and delish. I wonder what bar it is. Just join. What are you making? Oh, that's what I was going to pull up. So we are making recipes from our new ebook that came out yesterday, Sugar-Free Sweets. Sugar-Free Sweets. Although I did post the recipe. If you guys want to grab it, it's on a YouTube community post and it's also in our Instagram story. And you can't just melt the chocolate on its own like you could normal chocolate. Yes, you need a, a fat source such as ghee, butter, coconut oil. You can't use heavy cream either. I feel like I've told you this before, but Matt and I got in a huge yeah. fight because he was convinced that you could melt chocolate with heavy cream. And then we had to do it to prove to him that you can't because it'll just burn. And even then he was like, it'll still work. So this is the ebook. I'm going to melt this in bursts of 30 seconds. Julius, once he gets riled up. So these are the recipes that are in here. There's a dairy free section, a nut free section, cookies. I like cookies the best. Bars and slices. I like bars and slices, not gonna lie. Cakes and pies. Not gonna lie. And the recipe we are doing today, first off, is, well, we're doing this one. Yay. Chocolate raspberry fat bombs. And then we're also doing, where's the other one? These look really good. So that was Super only 30 ones. seconds. And look at that Those puppy. So I'm going to give this a stir. I'm going to add the almond butter because that's the nut butter we're using. So you can do any nut butter. You can do peanut butter. The recipe calls for sunflower butter. That would make it nut free. Um, so this is going to actually be dairy free, which is nice. Um, and sunflower butter would also make it nut free. So let's add in a quarter cup of almond butter. Trader Joe chocolate bar has maltitol. Very bad. Sorry. Doesn't have. I haven't been to Trader Joe's in a while. Yeah, if you're talking about the one in the black packaging, the Simply Light, that definitely has maltitol. Does it have a lot? Yeah. You can just look it up. I, w I wouldn't get it. I'm pretty sure. Okay, so we're gonna add a quarter cup of almond butter. And again, you can use whatever nut butter. So I have peanut butter here to show you. The recipe originally, it calls for sunflower butter, right? Yeah, because it's nut free. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so a lot of people that do sun or uh, nut free, they use sunflower butter. It's pretty tasty. I like it. Yeah, I do too. There's so many just like buzzing noises in our house at all times, like the fridge, the dishwasher. Baby. I'm trying to pull up this candy. It's called Simply Light. Okay, that'll do it for the almond butter. I'm gonna shut that before I spill it and Julius has a blast. So I'm gonna stir that in. Yeah, so the Trader Joe's, it looks like, if you're looking up here, the maltitol is the first ingredient. Yeah, I wouldn't get that. Yeah. We used to get it, though, before we learned about maltitol. Pops back in the microwave another 30. So it has 11 grams of sugar alcohols, so that's 11 grams of maltitol. For how so much? For, uh, there's four servings per container. So the whole bar is over, it's about 45 grams of maltitol. It's so kind of a lot. For me, maltitol is like one to one. It's a gram of sugar, basically. I always substitute using sunflower butter. Aren't nuts and seeds kind of the same? They both have anti-nutrients. Why only do nut-free? Well, a lot of people look for nut-free because they have allergies to nuts. Yeah. Tree nut allergy is very prominent. So that's um, why seeds. In schools and things like that. But if you don't have an allergy nutritionally, yeah, there's not a huge difference. Nuts, seeds, same kind of deal. Okay, so this is getting nice and melted together, kind of. Oh, there's a Montezuma one, apparently, at Trader Joe's. Montezuma's Revenge, you guys know about that, right? No, what's up? Montezuma's Revenge, first I think it's a tequila, but it's also like everyone got diarrhea because he like poisoned them with the water. People what know what I'm talking about. What is maltitol? It's a sugar alcohol, but it has a pretty significant caloric and glycemic impact. Mm -hmm. So we tested it, actually. If you want to look at our, uh, it's the ultimate guide to low-carb sweeteners on YouTube. We test like 10 or 12 different sweeteners, the glycemic or the blood glucose response to them. And maltitol had like a really huge one. Oh, Uncle Ron's here. Hey, Uncle Ron, how's it going? Hopefully we'll be in Michigan sometime in June. Lo would love to hang out. <laughs> he says chocolate and cream is basically ganache, but probably won't work in the microwave. Slow on the stove top, Matt wins. All right, Uncle Ron. I oh, I got- your biggest fan. I got your haircut going now too, Uncle Ron. I think you have this haircut, right? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Um, explain how carbs are seen the same by the bot. Oh, it's a long one. Did you try Duncan Hines Keto Cupcake? What? No, we haven't. They I, have that? Yeah, they actually reached out to us, but we are big fans of the Burst Bender ones, so we are just like, nope. We said no? Nope? Why would we say no? Nope? I want to try this. Keto friendly, five Yeah, gram. I think they're going to be in stores, or they should be soon. Uh, what's going on with the product information? So here's the ingredients on it. Allulose, almond flour, coconut flour, egg whites, palm oil, maltitol though. On what? The the Duncan Hines ones. Hmm, maybe that's why we said no? It's probably a pretty small amount though. Whoa, whoa, it has 33 grams of total, 21 grams of allulose. So that's, that's a lot. I mean, it's gonna taste really good and sweet, but it's I mean, if you like, I mean, I think we really love the Birch Menders ones. Like, I buy those. Um, and they're going to be in Walmart soon, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we got them here, don't we? Yeah. My f our favorite one is the pancake one. It has only like four total carbs. Well, I like these because they make like two major variants of them. They make like the more Three. Well, sure, they, make, sure. they make a bunch of different flavors, but they have ones that are pretty sweet, like the brownie ones. And these have um, 16 grams of sugar alcohols, but they make. I'm trying to get some. the almond butter super incorporated. You know almond butter, guys. It's super finicky. They make some that don't have much erythritol at all. This one. Wait. The pancake one. Yeah, this one doesn't have much. Um, this doesn't have any sugar alcohols. Yeah, the pancake one, babe. No, the shortcake one. Yeah, they're pancake ones. Oh. Yeah, the pancake ones. Someone is very, very flustered. Just kidding. Okay. So this is pretty nice and melted. 
My video volume's not working. Is it working for everyone else? I think it is. They're hearing us. I'm sure someone would say something. I oh, that shows all comments, Facebook, and that's cool. Donut. Donut always comes with good comments. Yeah. Uh, guys, my problem is they want me to eat above 50 to 100 grams of carbs in this meal, and they aren't dumb. They knew salad has close to no carbs. Uh, you Who's guys are just, they? They're having some kind of conversation in chat that I haven't been following. Oh. Okay. You remember in a video a long time ago I said I didn't believe in nutrient density? I think you're talking about the nutrient... I may have said that in relation to the vegan propaganda nutrient density chart. Yeah, that's... But I never said I don't believe in nutrient density. I just don't believe in fake nutrient density. Plants. Well, yeah. So if you, if you Google nutrient density chart, there is going to be a pretty prominent one. It's called the Andy nutrient density chart right here. The Andy scores one. So this is a vegan propaganda one that penalizes for calories. You say penalizes? Penal uh, penalizes, yes. Yeah. I so say penalize. Oh yeah, I say penalize. So this is the fake nutrient density chart because the least caloric dense things are rewarded. And if you look at the actual rubric they use to make this chart, it's just like laughable. It's like they, they don't count essential nutrients, but I believe in nutrient density, of course. Okay, so our mixture is done. It's very liquid. Um, and don't forget to put your fat bomb mold on a baking tray because then when you try to move it, it'll spill everywhere. We've done that like several times. So we got in a fight about that too. Yeah. Lots of stuff. Remember when you, he spilled hot yeah. pork grease all over my arm. That was a big one. And could you imagine guys? You couldn't imagine because you have no idea the, the anger level Matt gets. If I did that to him. I don't get angry though. I just get like. It is anger, but... It's anger. It's rage. Um, okay. I'm going to divide this up. <laughs> it's not rage. I'm not, like, out of control. I it's just, internal rage. Internal rage. That's what it is. So I'm going to pour this out. Um, it should make 20. Mm, feels like it'll make more. We'll see. You're bankrupting us. You're using $20 worth of ghee over here. We could do butter, but then no one could eat them. What if I eat more protein than my macro counter recommends? Well, I mean, the first assumption is, is your macro counter accurate for what you need? But I would say all in all, like eating more protein is, isn't the worst. It's definitely not the worst. And it's mostly something you can just gauge how you feel physically, mentally, but like as far as weight loss or any kind of thing, eating too much protein is going to be fine. Are you familiar with high intensity health YouTube channel? Yeah, Mike Mutzel, I love him. Good he's, friend. He's been on our podcast a few times. Was that met, braggy? I wouldn't say good friend, but like whenever... Great friend. I, I met him, I think, only once or no, twice, twice in person. And I always just ask him a ton of questions. Yeah, he probably hates us for that. <laughs> like, no, I think he likes it because he loves like sharing his knowledge. Do you ever bake with cocoa butter? Yeah. Once in a while. We make um, a hot chocolate with it. We have a dessert on our... Food blog, a cheesecake dessert. It's a white chocolate cheesecake. Matt, do you still take acetyl L-carnitine? Megan takes it more than me. Yeah. I just, we just got some more recently. I haven't really looked into it. I know a, a few people talk about it. Nora Gadgadis in her books says it's great to take. Recommends it, yeah. Ben Bickman also says it's good. Theo's crying. I know. I hear a baby. Yeah, Theo's crying. I think he's falling asleep. We do have a nanny here today. And we have, an, he, he, crying is a part of some of his naps. What are you drinking and where can I get it? Spindrift. So I, it's... We only get it at Whole Foods, but I'm sure you can get it elsewhere, right? Maybe. I've never seen it elsewhere, but it's carbonated water and lemon juice. Only two ingredients. And it tastes nice and like kind of sweet. So I made 21 here. Lucky 21. Now we're just going to pop our raspberries in. So you can cut them in half. You can do them whole. Make sure there's no mold in the raspberries. I always check. Palm oil is terrible. It's not terrible though, is it? It's not terrible. It's the exact same nutrition profile as coconut oil, basically. It's just bad for the environment is the main concern. But I like, filled some of these too much. Look at that. Nutritionally, it's not bad. What do I do? That's okay. I have an idea. I shouldn't do the idea. I was going to suck up some of the straw. No. Which one? Like that? That one. That one I can't even put a raspberry. We'll just skip that one though. So don't fill them all the way up because then you can't pop your raspberry in. 
Can you guys have another baby, please? I mean, we hope to. If you someone says this is painful, just give us the recipe. Recipes linked in our on the YouTube community page as well as in our Instagram story. If you want the recipe, it's painful. <laughs> Look at your comp. I'm just kidding. What do you think about the pandemic videos out there? Pretty awakening. Which one? What ones are you talking about? There's a lot of them. I haven't been like really watching it too much. It's a waste of my time. Like, am I am I gonna change the course of the pandemic, or is it just causing concern and like, I don't know, stress? Stress, yeah. I've been keeping more tabs on it, so I update him. Yeah. Random question: Is it possible to gain weight and muscle with keto? My husband has a very difficult time gaining weight and wants to build muscle as well. Well. Yeah, I mean, gaining weight, typically you want to gain muscle. You don't want to really gain fat. So it is possible. It's going to be a little harder typically. Real quick, fat bombs are done. I'm going to pop these in the freezer so we can get started on the second recipe. It might be a little harder um, on keto just because it's harder to eat a calorie surplus. So if your husband's really having trouble gaining weight, and he's always had trouble gaining weight, keto's not really going to be the best because you need to have more palatable food so you can eat more calories. That's the main game. MNK $2 donation and says Theo love. Yay. Carb manager app. How do I know if the set the ma macros are accurate? Um, so you got to run a macro calculator. The only way to really know if the macros are super accurate is if you track your macro intake over extended periods of time and, and monitor what your weight does. So like for me, I've been tracking my macros to some degree for um, probably like six to 10 years now. So I know my calorie intake per day, what I maintain weight at is like around 25 or 2600 calories. So if you have no idea, if you've never really consistently ate at one calorie level and figured out what your weight did, that's gonna be the best way to start. So like run some sort of macro calculator. Let's say it gives you 1900 calories. I would eat at that level for a month and then see what happens to your weight. And from there you'll know 1900 that's too many calories or that's too little calories. I just bought your new dessert ebook. Yay! We're about to make our second one, which is on page 56. High protein levels become glucose in your system, don't they? So you can read it. Oh, it's Eddie Warbucks. You can read into this a little bit more, but um my understanding, and there's conflicting like info on this, is your body will convert fats and proteins into glucose on a need basis, so not on a supply basis, so like on a demand basis. So the more protein you have doesn't necessarily mean the more glucose your body's creating. You, there's like one study I saw where people doing a keto diet, their um, gluconeogenesis increased by like a few percentage, but I think it's pretty regulated. Like it doesn't seem to fluctuate too much. What about creatine before workouts? What do you need? It uses another 16 tablespoons of ghee. You picked great recipes, baby. <laughs> we'll use coconut oil. Oh. It'll just be all coconut. Um, what about creatine before workouts? Well, before workouts doesn't matter because creatine doesn't really have an acute effect. It has a buildup in your system. So like the recommended, I think, is five grams per day. But it doesn't, it's not like a caffeine where you take it and then you feel all jacked up. It's more of something you just take daily. Spindrift is also at Target, Costco, Aldi, Amazon. Oh, good to know. Okay, second recipe is on page 43. I apologize, not 56. It is peanut butter coconut bars. But since we are not doing peanut butter, we're going to be doing almond butter coconut bars. And then we're going to sub out the butter for coconut oil. So a uh, pretty simple recipe. Matt has pulled it up right here. So we're going to do one cup of coconut oil, one teaspoon of vanilla, the three cups of sh unshredded, um, unsweetened coconut flakes, salt, almond butter, and we're leaving out the erythritol as well. But if you want these sweet, I highly recommend the erythritol. Or you can even cut that erythritol in half and do some stevia, whatever you want. Yeah, this will make a pretty big batch too. Yeah. Can coconut oil go bad? I don't know. Probably at some point. 
High intensity health is great and all, but they are too perfect with their diet and lifestyle. Can't live up to it. I prefer normies. Yeah, I mean, you're so, so like, I, I think I typically am more drawn towards people that are more perfect than me, at least, so I can learn from them. Like, what's a good example? Mike Muscle? Yeah, I guess that is a good example. Use a syringe? For what? Oh, to, to draw the chocolate out so you can put the... Palm oil is bad because it's highly processed. It's not that highly processed, though. I mean, to that... I mean, would you say coconut oil is highly processed, then? Whoops! I've been told to take creatine before lifting. I already talked about that one. Which nut butter is best for digestion? I get bloated from all of them, even coconut butter. Oh, I would say coconut butter is probably best for digestion. But, um, I don't know, yeah. I mean, nuts are one of the harder things to digest. I try to limit them. Like when we first started doing this whole 30 challenge thing, I had like probably the first day I had like four servings of nuts and I didn't feel great afterwards. My stomach was just like kind of sore. So, I mean, if you really have trouble, you might want to just try eliminating them. Wait, we're not live on YouTube? Yeah, I switched the... It's a different stream. Yeah, it's a different stream. I shared it. I think we're live. Yeah, we're live. It's working. So much technology you gotta figure out. What am I drinking? Spindrift. It's just lemon juice and water, carbonated water. Where do you guys shop mostly for your groceries? Whole Foods. Whole Foods, and then we get an order from the farm every couple oh, of weeks. And there's a place called Nature's Pick Market. It's a local grocery store. We'll go there as well. It is expensive, so like, don't feel like you need to shop at Whole Foods, but... But like, guys, that is our splurge, right? Matt's been wearing yeah. this shirt since like 2008. Yeah. No joke. Yeah, we invest in our groceries and stuff for sure. More than most people, but... Yeah, we don't spend money much else. Okay. Am I the only one sick of Corona health content? Yeah, I got really sick of it probably two weeks ago, and I haven't much checked back in since. Jackpot. Kind of the same topics over and over. Even in keto community, your diet and health are overall matters, yeah. What's your daily calorie intake? About 2,600, 2,700 usually. Funny how no one personally knows anyone with COVID, but a gang of celebrities have it. Do you know anyone that has it? Yeah, I mean, I know, like, my my best friend, Lindsay, her aunt passed away from it. Really? Oh, my yeah. gosh. Um, a Melissa, friend and husband and grandparents have it. Oh, really? A lot of people, yeah. I have friends that have a lot of people they know who have it. Um, okay, so we have our coconut oil. It's one cup of coconut oil. If you cheat for one meal, how easy slash quick is it to get back into ketosis? There's a lot of variables. One, the biggest one is going to be how long you've been doing keto. So like for me, when we go once every maybe a few months, we go to like a tasting menu. And sometimes, like the last time, I probably had like 300 grams of carbs. We went, that was the hardest we've ever gone. Um, and I checked my ketones, I think the next morning, and I was in ketosis. My glucose was pretty regular. It was like a little higher than usual. But for me, it's like pretty hard not to be in ketosis. But when I was first starting and we first got the ketone meter, and I tested a lot. It was pretty hard to be in ketosis. So that's the biggest variable, how long you've been doing it. And then obviously like how many carbs. Um, but I wouldn't really even worry about getting back into ketosis. You gotta just think about making it a sustainable lifestyle. Yeah. I disagree, Matt, on not eating keto and building muscle while gaining weight. It can be done. It can be done, but would you recommend to someone who's had a lifelong struggle of trying to gain weight do keto? That makes no sense to me. Like, you want them to have calorie-dense foods. You want them to eat chocolate chip cookies, Pop-Tarts, like, stuff like that. If they're really struggling to gain weight, they need to have mixes of carbs and fats so that they can eat more calories. You can definitely do it with keto, though.
looks lovely. It's 8 p.m. here, past my eating window. 8 p.m., so is that like England or something? Maybe? I don't know. All right, guys, it's only five hours ahead. Yeah, I would guess Europe somewhere. Okay, so we have our coconut oil and vanilla in a saucepan on the stovetop, heating over low heat. Um, and so that's gonna melt the coconut oil. Uh, if you're doing the butter, it'll melt the butter. And it'll also toast up the coconut flakes. Once coconut flakes, once that's melted, we're gonna add in three cups of um, unsweetened, finely shredded coconut flakes. You can see in the picture there, it's finely shredded. Yeah. If you don't... I'm going live again. Are we back live, guys? Streamlabs crashed on us. I think we are back live. Man, we are struggling today. Okay, I think I think we're back. Let us know if we're back. Sorry about that, guys. We got a two dollar donation from Tina Lineberry. Thanks. Where does one go to purchase the ebook? Um, I'll link it in chat. Hopefully, you guys know. You can go on our homepage of our website, ketoconnect.net. There is, it's, if you scroll down, it's there. It should maybe also be linked in the description of this video. So the coconut oil has melted. I'm gonna add in our coconut flakes, three cups, and we're gonna toast that on low heat for four to five minutes. That will give it a nice flavor. How do things that do not contain glucose spike blood glucose? Well, um, so there, there's other types of carbs other than glucose. I mean, there's like fructose, there's lactose, there's um, starches. But are you saying like things other than carbs? Things other than carbs don't really spike your glucose very much. Like if you have a really high protein meal, you'll get a little bit of a rise in your glucose, but it's not anywhere near as much as if you have carbs. Don't take supplements before a workout. Drink coffee. Yeah, I like to drink coffee before a workout. Went too hard last night with tequila. Any tips on feeling better? First hangover on keto. Electrolytes? Yeah, the main thing is electrolytes. How's it going over there? Good. I'm just combining everything and then we're gonna let it toast for four to five minutes. So you're Coconut flakes are gonna pretty much absorb all of the fat, so the butter or the coconut oil that you've added to your saucepan. Why does that drink sound like a Pokemon? I don't know. A spin drift? Yeah. What do you think of buy drinks? I never really drink them. They have caffeine. They have, yeah. So they have a little, 35 milligrams of caffeine, I think, and they also have some erythritol. Per eight ounces. Per eight ounces? Yeah, so it's... 60, 70. Yeah, so I, I don't like drinking any caffeine after, well, I drink my coffee at 6 a.m. usually, and then I don't have any after that, but I wouldn't really like drinking any caffeine after like noon, because I think it messes with my sleep. But I am doing a sleep challenge, and I'm tracking it with the, this ring, the Aura ring, and we settled on the seven supplements we're gonna be doing. We're gonna do glycine, CBD, GABA, 5-HTP, melatonin, uh, L-theanine, and then one more. What is the other one? Three. No. That, and then the next one I'm gonna do is gonna be more of an extreme, like how bad does this stuff mess with your sleep? Alcohol. I wanna get a prescription sleep aid. That would be like ideal. I would love to see what my sleep score was like with a prescription sleep aid, but that's illegal and also... Can't share that on video. Yeah, I could share it though, if I could get a hold of one. Like Ambien. Yeah. Um, Benadryl. We're not fishing for you guys to send us some, by the way. Or were you? No. Okay, <laughs> okay so while the uh, coconut flakes are toasting on the oven, on the stove, I'm going to add three-fourths cup of almond butter, but the recipe does call for peanut butter, and the peanut butter will probably be better because it'll s become smoother in the microwave. Almond yeah. butter doesn't get smooth, so this recipe is not going to be as gorgeous. Um, but we're gonna do our best. So um, oh, ashwagandha is the last one. Ashwagandha is great. 
I think that one definitely helps. The ones I think definitely help is ashwagandha and maybe L-theanine. Those are the really only two I would say that I think help. One time I dosed Matt with a thousand milligrams of L-theanine. No, it was five grams. Five thousand milligrams. <laughs> yeah, in a, but in a you food workout. But you didn't feel bad, did you? No, I felt fine. Oh, you know what we've tried before? Um, it's a little riskier that I hated. What is that? Uh, what oats oh, over there? Oh, fenibut. Fenibut. That's more like off the radar. Yeah. So three fourths cup is, I believe, around one eighty grams. Celebrities simply test more often. That could be. Someone says, uh, I believe more of us have had it and just didn't know. Yeah, that's probably true too. That's what they're saying. Can you do a video about what you feed your son? I have a seven months old and I need tips on how to feed him. Well, we feed him. We feed, I, I feed him right off of my plate. If yeah. I'm having scrambled eggs for breakfast, He's having scrambled eggs. It, I'm, we made curry on Saturday night. I made him the Instant Pot with chicken, bell peppers, onion, garlic, cumin, curry powder. He, he ate some of that. And we started him slow though. Yeah, so pieces of steak. We do baby lid weaning, so you can look into that. Oh, wait, are we, oh, we're back, okay. Um, can you do weed for your sleep study tomorrow for Murder She Wrote, Murder She Ate? No. So you want him to smoke weed for the video? I can't really do that. I would get like in my head and like would I, would, I would suck, yeah. I'm not much of a social weed smoker. I'm more of a watch a show type of a guy. I think Carol Baskin should be in jail. I mean, if we started throwing people in jail based on documentaries, I don't think that's a great philosophy. <laughs> it's a terrible philosophy. Because there's not a lot of proof she murdered her husband. Okay, I'm gonna pop the almond butter in the microwave so it warms and hopefully it's a lot easier to just like smooth out and get um, like just a smooth texture for the top of the bars. Hi, I'm a new mama and will be a month tomorrow. I would love to join Mega's Patreon. How do I find it? How do they find it? Mega? Um, I think you can just search my name in Patreon. If you search Mega, let's see. Yeah, I'm a patron. He was the third. Mega. Barrett. Didn't I type that? Mega Barrett. There she go. Yeah, if you search Mega Barrett right here, I'm already a Patreon. So you can't Patreon. click it, otherwise you see the post. I just posted one actually yesterday on Theo and eating. Did you look at it? And we have a cool live stream she does. Now you're showing the post for free. I'm not showing it. I'm not sharing. Oh. Oh, but that's I'm a good going one. to. That's him eating the curry. That's a good one. And we're a little more risque on the Patreon. Like we talked a little bit about sex in the live. You talked about it. You just sprung it on me. Yeah, because that's how you got to do it. Um, but yeah, we're just, I'm just like more open and comfortable. Small group of people. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I love to drink coffee a lot. <laughs> so does everyone, I think. Um, so the coconut flakes, you can smell them when they start toasting. So they are toasting up. I'm going to give them a couple more minutes while we're making this almond butter topping. Did you show people what it's kind of looking like in the pan? So it looks just like a, a slush. It's like soaked flakes. Hmm. Thoughts on temp regulated sleep systems for optimization? Yeah. So what I've been doing lately is keeping the window open actually with a fan blowing in to circulate air. That's something I'm trying right now. We were doing air conditioning low, like 68 degrees, but the problem with that is it takes the humidity out. So then you either need a humidifier or some other means. Um, so I'm trying to figure that out. Yeah. So right now we have the window open and I like that with the fan in cause it's pretty humid here. Yeah. Because, yeah, there's, there's two factors, obviously. Temperature, you want low temperature, but then humidity becomes an issue if you just have the air conditioning rolling. So I'm just whisking the almond butter to break, it, break up the chunks. Um, and it looks like it's breaking up very nicely. Ooh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to whisk it, and then we're going to microwave it one more time. Which supplement do you predict will help the most? I would say, from based on my experience, ashwagandha, but I haven't tried GABA, which seems to Are have Are you doing a high evidence. dose of ashwagandha? Yeah, pretty nice. high. 
Uh, melatonin, I don't think it actually helps you sleep. I think it helps you fall asleep. So. But if you wake, if you sleep through like that period where it's putting you to sleep, you just stay awake. Yeah. For me, at least. Me too. I use 10 milligrams of melatonin daily. That's a lot. That and is, daily is a lot. It's kind of a lot. I don't know. There's a I would just try doing it, going without it for a night and see if you're actually dependent if on it. If you can fall asleep. Yeah. Um, because uh, there is some studies that show like really high doses of melatonin downregulate your own melatonin production, but like a little bit now and then seems fine. But like me personally, I would not be comfortable taking 10 milligrams every single night, but I don't know a ton about it either. After a high intensity workout, this is Donut, I can tolerate some carbs because they'll go right into replenishing glycogen stores, right? How long after the workout does this still work? Well, you can also do it pre-workout too. Um, so ideally, your, uh, your glycogen is totally depleted at all times, pretty much when you're on keto or it's, it's to some degree depleted. So we have a pre, there, there's some people that talk about this. We have a pre-workout recipe on our, on our YouTube channel too, where you take dextrose to replenish your muscle glycogen without it going to your liver at all. Like if you take table sugar or something, some of that's fructose, I think 50%, around 50% of it. So that goes to your liver. So you want to avoid fructose because your liver is where ketones are produced. But if you take dextrose, um, that can, that's something you can use to replenish your glycogen without interrupting ketone production as much. All right. I would just do like 15 grams maybe. Let's get these puppies going in. Okay. So this is a really super simple recipe. So we have our coconut flakes here that have been toasting and they're mixed with vanilla extract and coconut oil. Um, so if you're doing the recipe by the book, you have your butter, your vanilla, your erythritol, and your coconut flakes all in here. And we're just gonna pour this into an eight by eight baking pan. So like a brownie pan lined with parchment paper. How often do you guys drink? I love nightly drinks. Well, probably like once every week or once every, once every two weeks probably. Um, but right now, we're not drinking, we're going a whole month. I would say on average for the past year, once every 12 days. And I'm just going to spread this out in the bottom. According to my holistic doctor, melatonin has other benefits other than regulating sleep cycles. It's a powerful antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and supports your immune system. Work up to higher doses. I don't know. That sounds like really bad advice. That I sounds mean, fishy. Just because melatonin does those things, that doesn't mean supplemental melatonin does those. If your body's already making it, then why would you need to have supplement like high, high doses of it? Guys, melatonin regulates the sleep-wake cycle. It does not or help or cause one to fall asleep. I mean, if you take it, it definitely helps you fall asleep. Have you never taken melatonin? It makes you pass out immediately, like within no, 10 minutes. It's like 15 to 30. Yeah, so that's just false. But um, it does help you. So like if you're traveling, people say you can take it to help with uh, jet lag. But ideally, you don't want to be reliant on supplemental melatonin to regulate your sleep-wake cycle. You want to use your endogenous melatonin. Okay, so we have the coconut um, shredded coconut lined in the bottom, spread evenly. Um, and this is a bar recipe that you're going to want to keep and store in the fridge because in the fridge, the coconut oil, the almond butter, everything will just be solidified together and it'll stay in bar form. So now that that's done, we're going to pour our almond butter on top, evenly spread it and then pop it in the fridge and just wait for it to harden up. And that'll be probably like three to four hours. So now it goes on the almond. Oh, it's nice and melty. Yeah. We're making coconut peanut butter bars, but we're using almond butter. This is a recipe from the new ebook. It's called Sugar Free Sweets. This is a very bad ebook name because I can never remember it. Will this be uploaded later? Yeah, it automatically gets uploaded. So you want to drizzle it pretty evenly so that it spreads or um, so that it's already in where it's supposed to be because it'll it, it'll soak into the coconut flakes, which is nice. It'd probably be good even if you refrigerated the coconut part first. Yeah. 
I don't. I didn't look at the recipe. Did someone say that? No, I just said that. Yeah, that's probably what you should do, but we are not. Rhonda Patrick takes three hundred micrograms melatonin. So that's three m milligrams. That's a normal dose. Is it? Yeah, our our melatonin is three hundred micrograms. No, three milligrams. Isn't that the same? I don't know. MCG to MG. Oh, so she takes way less. Yeah, I think she takes, yeah, she takes 0.3 milligrams. So that's like none. That's a really small amount, yeah. Okay. One hundred percent. Yeah, show them what it looks like. I'm gonna pop this in the fridge. 100% avocado or 100% coconut oil mayo? Avocado. Are they both equally as healthy? Probably the same ballpark of health. Avocado tastes better. Mega says avocado tastes better. I don't eat either. I prefer coconut oil health-wise over avocado oil. Should we pop out the fat bombs? Yeah. You think they're ready? Dr. Burke says don't take melatonin at all. Yeah, my take on melatonin is you don't want to become reliant on it. I mean, that's my take with everything. You don't want to become reliant on anything. But um, for me, like if I know I have a big day tomorrow and it's like 9.30 and I know it's going to be like an hour before I can fall asleep, I'll take three milligrams melatonin. So that just it makes sure that I fall asleep in the next 10 or 15 minutes. But that's really the only time I ever take it. All right, guys. Fat Bones done. It's been in the freezer for probably an hour now. Are they hard? Yeah. Should I pop one There's out? There's no sweetener, right? No. Do you want to give it a try? Wait, what's in it again? Yeah, let's give it a try. Um, ghee, chocolate. Okay. Yeah, these will be good. Not frozen enough, but... I like that. Have you guys seen any good movies lately? Can they even see that? Whoa. You guys can't see it. It's beautiful, though. Those are great. Yeah, raspberry and chocolate, great combo. Mm -hmm. I would probably prefer... It'd be better with sweetener. Yeah, but it's still so good. So we won't be able to show you the other bars, but we'll share them on Instagram. How can you make mayo using coconut oil? I don't know, that's a good question. How can you make what? Mayo using coconut oil. Coconut oil and egg? And you just blend it? Yeah, that's how you make mayo. You just blend whatever fat source with egg, yo egg yolk, not the egg. These are delicious. I'm gonna eat these all the time now on our Whole30. All right, guys. Waco series on Netflix is great. Yeah, that's what Melissa just said. Oh. Yeah, well, we have a lot of shows to be trying. Oh, I just started, you guys are gonna hate me. I just started a Bachelor Listen to Your Heart last night and I am sucked in. I didn't think I would like it because I don't like love singing, but I think it's almost even better than the normal Bachelor Bachelorette. Explain it Bachelorette. To me. So it's Bachelor, but they sing to each other? It's, yeah, it's a group of men and women and they're all like really, really good singers, musicians, and they're finding their like duet partner. Hmm. Is it for love or is it just for duet It's for parties? both. But love comes first, according to Chris Harrison, and I believe him. I mean, you got to do it for the right reasons. Just tune in. Where are these recipes for these be? So it's part of our new ebook, but the recipes for these two that we made are in our Instagram story and also on the YouTube community page. But I can just share. This is the one we just made. We used, instead of... Peanut butter, we used almond butter. And instead of butter, we used coconut oil. The Last Kingdom on Netflix. If it's a show from before 2012, I ain't watching it. We just started Succession on your guys' recommendation. Such a great show. Yes. Oh, I'm so jealous you get to rewatch it and you have the second season still probably. We're watching Billions, which is old, but I love it. It's great. How long does it take to get into ketosis after fasting with just water? Uh, depends. Depends on how many carbs you're eating like the day before, like what you Could be like a day, it could be two days. A couple days, I would say two days probably. 
Don't F with cats. We saw that as soon as it came out. Yeah. It was uh, a lot. Well, you guys got anything else? That's it. This was fun. It went really fast when you're baking and cooking. It goes great. Yeah. Um, it, it goes quick, I mean. Okay. That's it, guys. If you want the ebook, it's uh, on our homepage. Scroll down a little bit. Thor Ragnarok. Is that a movie? Oh, yeah, it is. Thor. Now. Yeah, he's been crying. You didn't hear him? Oh, no. Thor, uh, Ragnarok. Yeah, uh, we've seen the Thors. It's, uh, we saw the most recent Avengers. I don't like those. Two. Okay. All right. 